you know what this means? It means that, like, there have got to be hundreds of warriors out there who are stronger than we are. Say that. Last time on Dragon Ball Super SS, we met the new Saiyan of Universe 7, Mato. A Saiyan we discovered had an extremely close link to Bardock, the father of Goku. After an unexpected invasion on his home planet, Mato's entire village was destroyed and he was left defeated. We now join him again as he recovers and discovers his now unconscious mother. The ending of this episode will be wild to say the least, but before that all, the shirts and hoodies you see on the screen right now are from AnimeNoCap.com. But more of that at the end of the video, where another discount code will be provided exclusively to you guys. Mato's mother eventually wakes up from her dream, and she smiles knowing her first sight is her son and that he is safe. Mato. Mato is overjoyed and shocked at her finally speaking. Mother! You woke up! I'm so happy! Mr. Harp! Base! Again! Please treat her again! Mr. Harp, knowing already the fatal condition of Mato's mother, murmurs, I will try my best, even if it's impossible. Mr. Harp. Mother, everything is going to be fine. After this, I'll get you something delicious. It's okay, Mato. Just stay by my side, please. Alright, I'm here, so don't give up. Mato's mother, knowing that her time is nearly up, decides to tell him the secret she held back her entire life. Mato, there's something I've never told you before. Your father is a Saiyan. They are a warrior race. Saiyan? My father? I heard that there are people who attack stars and then sell them to other aliens, following Freezer's orders. Perhaps the guys attacking us were Freezer's subordinates. They are horrible. That's why I didn't want you to use violence. I don't think your father is alive anymore. Even though your father was like that, I still loved him. And you too. Live the life you want. After saying her last words, Mato's mother suddenly closes her eyes and turns to the side. Mato, not understanding, yearns for his mother while Harp and Bass still look on. Mother? MOTHER! The scene changes to the night, where in front of a roaring fire representing his rage, Mato stares with tears in his eyes and his fist clenched. The next morning, Mato stares at the crater left behind from his defeat to Pudding. <coughs> Standing on the rubble he just created, he stands alone angrily. Mato! I couldn't defeat a subordinate, but I swear! I'll defeat their boss Freezer no matter what! My mother was killed. I could never live here peacefully after that. Stop that! I know how you feel, but right now they would kill you! Didn't your mother say something similar? She didn't want you to use violence! Master Harp! Please say something! Mr. Harp thinks on Mato's rage and locks eyes with him. Mato, please follow me. Okay? They travel back to the Namekian heart of Mr. Harp and Base. Here, Piccolo. On announcing the word Piccolo, the ground begins to rumble and the floor elevates. Mr. Harp begins to explain, I was also one of those foreigners who flew on this star. A letter I found said, Please wait there until I come back. So I've lived here ever since. I don't know how many decades I waited for my parents to return. One day I was examining this room, and I noticed that this house is actually a spaceship. Probably something happened on their planet, and I was sent here. I wanted to use this spaceship to find my parents, but I couldn't do it. I was too scared. I thought since they haven't come here yet, they're probably dead. For this reason, I couldn't leave this planet. The people here know and rely on my healing ability. Most of us come from different planets and this was a perfect place to live, so comfortably. I thought that I would never need this spaceship anymore. Mato, if you really want to avenge your mother, I'll give you this spaceship. Thank you so much. Mr. Hart rummages in his pocket and takes out a strange orange ball with four stars on it. Take this too, okay? I created it when I was thinking about leaving this planet. 
The number of stars on this ball will guide you where you desire. Marto grips onto the ball, mesmerized by its familiar feel. Mr. Harp continues, When I made this, I felt strangely nostalgic. Maybe there is something similar on my home planet. I think a distant memory is left in my heart. If you hold this firmly and have a strong desire, it will guide you where you're meant to be. But you shouldn't overexert yourself. It's important to understand when you should give up. I'll definitely avenge my mother. And finally, Base, please go with him. Your abilities will surely help Mato on his journey. However, never force yourself. You can come back home anytime. Understood, Mr. Harp. I think it will probably be a difficult journey. I'm repeating myself here, but if you feel like giving up, you can come back here anytime. Good luck. Yes, thank you for everything. We will definitely come back. Mr. Harp eventually leaves the hut as base operates the ship's controls. Mato continues to grip tightly and stare into the orange ball. An amazing ball. It's like being guided by something. Alright, let's go base. Uh, okay. The hut raises from the ground and reveals its true spaceship appearance before blasting off to their first location, guided by the orange ball. With a driven look on his face, Mato looks onto his new future in search of power. The ship eventually arrives above a strange and barren looking planet. Base questions Mato, is there anything you're looking for on this planet? By the way, what kind of wish did you make? Mato however remains tight lipped over his intentions. The ship then lands on the strange block filled planet. Base continues his questioning, then, where is the person you're looking for? Mato looks at the mysterious ball for guidance. Over there. They come across a lone tavern. It's here. I feel like something guided me. They open the door and inside are two figures. W welcome! A hooded man peeks through his cover. Mato and the hooded man lock eyes, startled by his power, Mato thinks, that person, I feel a strong reaction coming from him. You don't seem to be from the Galactic Patrol. A sane and a Namekian guy. What business do you have with me? I must avenge my mother. I want to defeat Freezer and his army. I wish to be more powerful and I was guided here to you. Freezer and his army? <laughs> Interesting. All right, follow me. I feel sorry for those kids talking to Legic. Mato and Base begin following the man. Along the walls are dozens of wanted posters featuring his image. The oblivious Base wonders, there are so many pictures of this guy here. Is he famous? They finally arrive at an area in the middle of nowhere. Mato wonders, um, what the hell are we doing here? Huh? <coughs> <coughs> What are you doing? <laughs> A scum like you will defeat Frieza. You don't deserve to stand on this stage. <laughs> Legic suddenly and without warning slices the shoulder blade of Mato. He screams out in agony at the pain. Mato falls to the floor in his knees as Legic stands above him waiting to deliver a fatal final blow before suddenly arm is grabbed. What? <coughs> Are you okay, Mato? Huh? Oh my. So you know some tricks. <coughs> With Mato now left beaten on the ground, Legic turns to base and says, Hey, you Namekian. Y yes what are you doing? Heal him. Uh, okay, yes, I'll do it. Mato, I'm going to heal you. Mato is then healed up, but as he recovers, Legic takes out an additional weapon. Once again, Mato is beaten to a pulp. Hey, heal him quick. Heal him. This endless cycle repeats, the attacks from Legic continue. 
this time with energy beams, but Macho is faster than before. <laughs> So <sighs> He can fly! That's great! Legic, knowing now that Mato is improved, signals Mato to follow him down again. So, what did you learn? Saiyans will gain more power level every time they are brought back from the brink of death. However, it's not that scary. You Saiyans who like blood and battles are a warrior race. You're just a group of battle freaks that only live to fight. But you look different. You're probably a hybrid. Well, pure Saiyans do not exist. It seems that they have something like a defense mechanism when they are in danger. Mato suddenly carries a blank look on his face. Legic thinking his reaction to something he said questions, What? What's wrong? Mato's heart begins to thump faster and faster. Base questions. What's the matter, Mato? <laughs> Suddenly, Mato, after staring at the full moon, transforms into his Uzaru form, shocking everybody. What? What the? It's the Great Eight. <laughs> Mato, what's happening? Legic, having somehow been used to this situation, immediately shoots an energy beam into the moon, blowing it up with explosives. <laughs> I was on planet Slug once, but the Namekians there couldn't do this, you know. Are you awake, Saiyan? Your friend is interesting. He's quite the magician, doing stuff like healing and recreating clothes. What? What the hell? Looks like you can't remember, huh? It, it was an incredible power! I thought I would die! So that's the Saiyan's power! The strength of a Saiyan is almost infinite, and Frieza is scared of it. Increasing your fighting power like this is useless. First, you must understand Saiyan's skill and traits. And how should I do that? I'll introduce you to a Saiyan guy I know. Saiyan? The group of three begin their next travel. Now to this other Saiyan that Legit knows. Who could it be? They arrive at yet another strange looking planet. On arrival, Mato is left perplexed at what he sees before him. What? What is that creepy tree? <laughs> Suddenly from behind, a group of men similarly dressed to the invaders begin laughing. It seems like a traveller has lost his way. To end up in this place at this time, you're really unlucky. H hey, his tail! Is he a Saiyan? That dress, it looks like the uniform of Frieza's army! As Motto becomes increasingly agitated, Legic places his hand in the way to defuse the situation. Scum, you still enjoy bullying the weak, huh? Uh, are you really... Legic? Long time no see. Is that bastard Turley's with you? I'm here. Standing before them is a tanned and menacing looking Saiyan with a familiar hairstyle. You act all high and mighty as usual. That's why you can't get stronger. Ha! You'll kneel before me sooner or later. That guy is a Saiyan. Okay, Mato. He is the pure Saiyan I was talking about. He's a completely different type, since you're a hybrid. When it comes to fighting, they are simply geniuses. They have something that cannot be measured by fighting power alone. You don't have enough experience to fight them in a real match, so try to steal everything you can from them. Turlies! Six months! I'll leave this guy to you for six months. Teach him how you say and fight. Mato stares nervously at Turlies, Wondering how strenuous his upcoming training will be. Six months with me? I can't guarantee his safety. What? All you have to do is teach him. Just like I did for you. 
Huh. All right, we're going, base. What? This is Mato's stage. You're a burden right now. But, but I too? I should be able to do something. That's right. There is something that you can do. That's why we're going to my planet. This time, you have to do your best alone. They are pro fighters who like to riot around the universe. If you let your guard down, you'll die before you fight Frieza. Yes. Mato, be strong. All right, don't forget your mother. Anger will make you stronger. Hit them with that. After giving his advice to the young Mato, Legic and Base leave in the spaceship, leaving Mato to fend for himself with Turley. Mato locks eyes with Turley's, who looks down with a smirk. As he stands down below him and his men, one of them drops down to the surprise of Mato. Are you ready, boy? I'm your opponent. Mato gets into position to start the first day of his training. Meanwhile, still traveling through space, Legic and Base talk. Excuse me, what can I do? You're already one step behind Mato in terms of fighting power. I'm afraid you won't catch up with him anymore. However, you have an amazing power that Mato doesn't have. I'll train you for the next six months. First of all, we need to train your mind. From now on, it's going to be tough. So prepare yourself. And if you made it this far in the video, leave me a hashtag Legic in the comments. How many of you actually remember him from Dragon Ball GT and what do you think of the story so far? But as shown at the start of the video, AnimeNoCap.com are selling some of the best Dragon Ball shirts, hoodies, hats and figurines in the game and at a time like this where you're stuck at home, give their selection a browse and treat yourself to something insane. As I promise, I have a discount code for you to use and that will be the code LEGIC for 10% off any order you place. I got myself this Gogeta hoodie recently and this epic Goku Black and Zomasu shirt. Check them out in the links in the description and pin comment but if you want to see more of my signature content instead I highly recommend you click on one of these two videos on the right which have over half a million views between them. Until next video guys, cheers.